Civil war of South Sudan made me made me move away from 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 my country. I went to Egypt. From Egypt, I went to Iowa. I was a refugee in Egypt. Yes. Most of my experience has been in aerospace. Uh, the last ten years, mostly doing shop support. I work as a graphic designer for a small sign company. So at least my primary work, I'm a software engineer. Yeah, uh, I'm active. I'm a human rights activist. Uh, Person. Uber has created thousands of jobs by way of their platform. Uh, at the same time, um, you know, these, these drivers aren't employees of Uber. They don't have health insurance. They're contractors. They have to do 1099. Uber, Uber, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Uber, Uber, you can't hide. We started hearing from drivers that said, Mike, you know, I was here a year ago. I was supporting Uber and Lyft. I still drive for them. I'm getting killed right now. And it's not me alone when the drivers are scared talking. They're scared because they are immigrant, mostly refugee and immigrant from different country. You know, some people feel like 20% is too much to take, which I won't lie. It's it's a it's a bit of a it's a chunk of change for me. Like whenever I'm like, yeah, I did a $30 fare. Oh, they took like six dollars out of that. I'm like, damn. It's changed a lot since I first drive it, uh, since I've first been driving for the service. The concern of the worker is a human rights issue. 